Mrs. McHale. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to explain age structure diagrams. And we're going to do this by describing the parts of an age structure diagram and then explaining population growth using the age structure diagram. So it's pretty critical on the AP exam that you're able to interpret a lot of information just by looking at one of these age structure diagrams. So we're going to try to dissect that out today. So here is an age structure diagram. We have it split into groups of population. So the bottom is our pre-reproductive. So these are individuals who are not yet reproducing, but will be. And this is the zero to 14 age group. We've got the middle segment from 14 up to about 45 or 50. That is our reproductive age group. And then at the top, we have our post-reproductive age group. And the sizes of these age groups is very telling about what's going on inside a population. So we see that it's split into males and females. We've got females over here, we've got males on this side, and then our age groups. So here are three different age structure diagrams and they tell us very different things about these populations. So if you were to look at this, which one of these populations would you guess is growing rapidly? So we would say it's Liberia, because a rapidly growing population will have a higher proportion of younger people compared to stable or shrinking populations. So this pre-reproductive group is very large and kind of gives it that triangle shape. Those are our rapidly growing populations as compared to the relatively flat shape of the United States or almost this Hershey kiss shape of Brazil. So population growth rates can be interpreted from the age structure diagrams based on the shape of the structure. So as I said before, the rapidly growing population will have a higher proportion of young people compared to the stable or shrinking. So it's a very steep triangular shape, slow growth, it's pretty even. Stable kind of looks like a mushroom, uh, a hill, and shrinking are a mushroom. So if we go back here, the United States is considered stable. Brazil is shrinking because their pre-reproductive group is very small. So what information can you determine from these age structure diagrams? We're comparing Liberia with the Philippines. We can say that Liberia has that rapidly expanding population. Remember the large pre-reproductive group? and it has a high birth rate and a high death rate because it's so steep as we go this way. Lots of people are born, but not many of them are gonna make it to the reproductive group. This has more of a nice triangular shape. So we know that the Philippines has a slow growth rate. They have a high birth rate, but their death rate is lower. So you don't see that big drop off between the pre-reproductive and reproductive group. So here we've got stable and shrinking populations. So Iceland looks a lot like the US, it's kind of a hill shape. Japan has that mushroom shape. Their pre-reproductive age group is much smaller than their reproductive and their reproductive age group and even their post-reproductive age group up here is pretty large. So here's our US population. Females and males, there's our pre-reproductive or a reproductive age group. And this can tell us a lot about the history of a population too. So watch what happens as we move. So let's take it back one more time. So starting in 1985, look at the size of this reproductive age group. You see them move up into this later pre-reproductive uh, to post-reproductive age group and then up here in the post-reproductive age group. And these are our baby boomers. You can follow them through the changes in our age structure diagram. And they appear as that big bulge as they move up the pyramid. So this says a lot about what we can expect as this group then moves up into the next set of age brackets and what kind of resource strain that's gonna put on us as a country. We also see this in China. So, what impact will that large reproductive group have? Think about what we saw with the baby boomers in America. Is that over time, 
the smaller pre-reproductive group means that there's going to be fewer workers to support an aging population. So if we look at this in another 10 years, this whole group is going to be up here. And this group is still going to be pretty small. So that puts a big strain on social services for the aging population. So to summarize, the shape of an age structure diagram can give detail about the current and future birth rates, death rates, and growth of a population. And age structure diagrams are split into three groups, the pre-reproductive, the reproductive, and the post-reproductive group, and shows the number of people in each group for both males and females.